Greetings and welcome back to Cardano Coin, where you can find the most latest and fascinating ADA news. You can enter to win 1000 ADA by watching the entire video, upvoting, subscribing, and leaving a comment that says Cardano is king. The winners will be chosen the following month and announced on the channel's community page. Michael Saylor and Tone V's were just compared by Charles Hoskinson. The cryptocurrency market is currently going through this era. He apparently brought to mind V's, who was once quite well liked and had a reputation for calling everything, aside from Bitcoin, a hoax. The scenario certainly appears to have been severely impacted by Saylor's remarks about Cardano, but without further ado, let's watch the video to find out more. As always, be careful to finish the video in order to catch everything. Michael Saylor discussed his thoughts on Cardano during an appearance on Altcoin Daily. He stated that he believes Cardano is clearly a security in comparison to Bitcoin. Saylor is the CEO of MicroStrategy, a tech firm that has made significant Bitcoin investments. He became an advocate for Bitcoin after being impressed with the investment and has had numerous opportunities to support it as a commodity in the past. The Bitcoin is a commodity thesis centers around the fact that Bitcoin was not pre-mined like many of the altcoins that have come after it. Many people, including the chair of SEC and Bitcoin maximalists, share the sailor's point of view, though not necessarily in relation to Cardano specifically. Additionally, a lot of currencies, like Cardano, adopt characteristics of IT companies, which could cause regulatory problems. If you look at the history of Cardano, it is very clear that there cannot be an issuer, an ICO, or a central organization for it to be a commodity network. It's secure and meets all the requirements. So, I'm not sure how you actually think your way around to persuade yourself that that is anything other than something a security sailor ever said. Of course, it was bound to happen to the creator of Cardano. After making such an assertion, Charles Hoskinson sat down. He learned of this and felt compelled to comment. On July 16th, during a YouTube AMA session or Ask Me Anything, Watcher Guru tweeted that Charles Hoskinson claimed Michael Stigler was all effed up and screwed up after claiming Cardano was a security. He emphasized that Cardano has more decentralization in real life use cases before pointing out that Bitcoin has one use case, which is speculation. It is one of those situations. He's invested heavily in Bitcoin. It has to function. If things don't go as planned, he declares bankruptcy. Saylor is now being replaced by Michael Saylor, who claims that Bitcoin is the only way to go and that everything else is either a scam or a security, according to Charles Hoskinson, who contrasted Saylor to the present market's Tone Vs. Tone Hoskinson noted that the ADA ecosystem is considerably more decentralized than Bitcoin and has a much wider range of applications than Bitcoin. Vase was well known for considering all other cryptocurrencies aside from Bitcoin to be scams. Hoskinson claims that users use the ADA token for a variety of Cardano-based businesses and goods in addition to trading it for profit. However, Hoskinson claimed that the only actual use case for Bitcoin is speculation and that no one calls it a security. Michael Saylor asserts that the ADA token is a security. According to Hoskinson, sailors in various Bitcoin maximalist groups continue to defend Bitcoin exclusively because they are convinced it will ultimately triumph over other cryptos in terms of both its monetary value and all other factors. He claimed that the situation merely involved the sailor going all in with Bitcoin. So it's planned that if things doesn't go as planned, he declares bankruptcy. I therefore don't think much about it. And I don't think this conversation is helpful in any way. It's not true to argue that anyone might arbitrarily withdraw all of your money at any time from a proof of stake system and shut it down. Simply said, Bill, it's a lie. It is untrue. Protocols avoid trying this. They actually don't have to provide any evidence to support the claims they've made. They claim that the factor is one of the factors at play despite the fact that their factor has no effect. Simply put, it's shop's worth. Overall, the founder of Cardano acknowledged that he does not need to pay much heed to the CEO of MicroStrategy's assertions and that a discussion about the ADA with him would not be fruitful. 
He also expressed his opinion on Bitcoin maximalists, labeling them as the most challenging, harmful, and pointless individuals to interact with. Generally speaking, it appears to be Bitcoin Maximus, a pain in Cardano's side. Max Kaiser has also criticized Cardano at every opportunity. The well-known American broadcaster and director Max Kaiser is also a Bitcoin maximalist. He recently stated that following the Terra Luna fall, which has not yet been seen, Cardona will collapse. It should be mentioned that Max Kaiser has consistently had a poor view of all cryptocurrencies and fervently believes that Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that deserves consideration. Ethereum and Cardano have never been on his good side. An incident between Max Kaiser and Charles Hoskinson that took place when Cardano was originally listed on Coinbase can be used to substantiate this. Charles Hoskinson has been charged by Max Kaiser with plundering and exploiting Africa in a talk with Gogstein Media. His poise that's a type of query from a purported Cardona enthusiast who inquired as to what distinguishes Bitcoin as the only cryptocurrency used by Africans. Why is Cardano not for Africans while Bitcoin was created by and for Africans? Could someone perhaps clarify why Kaiser expressed his blatant disgust with Cardano and his development methods? He criticized Cardano for claiming to be interested in bringing blockchain technology to people in Africa. He praised his preferred cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and claimed that it was a colonial, extractive, and dictator's strategy and objective. In contrast to Cardano ADA, he termed it as a decentralized, insensible, non-conscious, skatable currency. As was to be expected, Hoskinson responded to this assertion, just as he recently did for Michael Saylor. He mocked him for a harsh criticism of Cardano and didn't hold back with his remarks. You're missing the catchphrase, Max, I'm willing to pay for the aid you need PME, just like you guys did when you pleaded for sponsorship money. Kaiser's assertions were dismissed by the Cardano community, leading some to believe that the wash is concerned that Bitcoin's hegemony is going to end. Sailor's ridiculous statements that ADA is a security should also be pardoned if its market value takes a wild turn. Cardano might be seen as a security, but that is only because our testing methodology has shown to be nebulous and out of date. It was formed in a time when there were no assets that could serve as both a form of security and a medium of exchange. Mean the positive aspects of an old exam. Additionally, unlike Cardano, Bitcoin was not launched with an initial coin offering, ICO, thus it does not carry the additional responsibility of being seen as a tech firm. Additionally, Bitcoin does not have a traditional corporate structure. But Bitcoin has incorporated components into his network that might be viewed as centralizing. For instance, the creation of the Layer 2 Lightning Network and the Taproot upgrade. They aren't controversial, but it's possible that a tiny number of Bitcoin insiders were responsible for their invention. Again, that might not seem controversial, but it's tough to forget how corporate stakeholders contribute to guaranteeing a lucrative future for their organization when a group of stakeholders is making decisions that could result in profits in the future. Bitcoin is not quite as decentralized as the Cardano project, where buildings make their decisions entirely independently of the Cardano team. The cool kids have to invite you to sit with them if you want to use Bitcoin in any way. The definition of a security is so broad that it forces any argument on one side to just include cherry-picked claims, like what you see on Twitter for Bitcoin and Cardano. Calling the pot black is a good way to sum up this entire assertion. Because all parties are financially and legally motivated to present their cases, or for those on the outside looking in, it is entirely detailed. Picking one or the other when Charles Hoskinson fought to prevent XRP from being classified as a security is not intellectually honest. The issue with cryptocurrencies, he claimed, is that they are both everything and nothing. They appear as commodities on some days and as securities on others. And while they occasionally resemble currencies, other times they completely resemble something else. As a result, the short answer is that until the SEC and CFTC establish a more modern definition of a security offering, nothing will change. Unless you want to go insane, all disagreements should be put on hold or disregarded. Cardano ADA may suffer if it turns out to be a security in such situations since users, developers, and projects will have to adhere to more stringent rules. 
However, as always, please share your ideas about Michael Saylor's assertions in the comment area below. Additionally, be sure to hit the go and subscribe boxes.